was a very f interesting first panel discussion with the Doppia Firma team and the Michelangelo Foundation. And I think the topic was quite good and quite multidimensional to see like how craftsmanship can survive in the future or how we can enforce the craftsmanship. How people start to re-appreciate, let's say, this craftsmanship. And I think whatever can be done, whatever puts the focus on these crafts that are almost close to disappear, will help in the end. I think craftsmanship nowadays is more about we are in a luxurious field, so we're not into the field of mass production. It's not quintessential, but like a bit all the pleasures in life. I travel mainly a lot, but I also take my team sometimes. We just came from Japan. We have many Japanese clients and brands that we're designing for. Uh, I was approached by Doppia Firma and the Michelangelo Foundation if I wouldn't like to showcase a project that I did with a Portuguese artisan. There's so many design weeks and so many bases, so I think it will not be a capital of design. I see many new young Portuguese brands are popping up and some are also really successful and doing well and getting acknowledged. Of course, like showing in Grand Palais is an amazing opportunity and I could just guess from the pictures that the installation was quite stunning and quite breathtaking. It's still like in a niche and maybe it will always stay in a bit of this niche, but I think it should uh, go a bit more to the mainstream market also. Part of our heritage, of our common knowledge that we have as humans is a bit what we made, how we create tools, how we use the tools, the pity that we know so less about uh, how pieces are produced and crafted. I think that's a pity. I think this could be enriched.